What's going on guys? Welcome back to My Custom Life. My name is Trey and today we're going to do another review. It's been a while since I've done a video. I've been getting caught up. Had some personal things came up here this last week. I've uh, been dealing with and uh, today I want to start doing videos again. I'm going to try and do um, some more informational videos. I'm kind of leaning towards, I've noticed what's been getting a lot more views is uh, reviews which tends to do so. I've seen a lot through YouTube. And uh, today I'm going to be re reviewing a flashlight uh, that I just picked up. Uh, it's a company I've never heard of. It was kind of cheap, so I wasn't sure too much about how the quality would. But it, it actually looks pretty good, and it works really well. And it's a little big. I like carrying bigger flashlights, but it might be a little big for some people. But uh, it's Bib Tim. Put it up there. The tactical, it really didn't have a uh, model number, kind of like how, you know, Olight always has their SR1 baton or, you know, stuff like that, or, but, uh, or SR1 Mini. This one didn't really, didn't really have a model number. I seen it said like SD900, but when I looked that up, I didn't find it. But anyway, it's a Bib Tim tactical flashlight. It's 900 lumens. It runs off one 3500 milliamp hour 18650 battery that comes with the flashlight. And um, I really like it. It has just about everything I would want in a flashlight. It's got a really nice high power battery. It's USB rechargeable. It's magnetic. Uh, it's zoomable as well. You can zoom it out or zoom in or whatever for the um, uh, LED. And it's still, it's pretty, it's, the head on it's pretty big, but it still fits in my pocket pretty easily. But anyway, it's got four modes. It's got a high low, a strobe, and then an SOS. But the SOS is red, so it's kind of like an SOS floodlight style. But anyway, I'll back up a little bit. Low mode is if you click it one time, and it, did, it, did, it didn't specify what lumens each one is. I know high, the maximum output with a um, this high output 18650 battery is 900 lumens, but the low mode, I don't know what it is. And it really doesn't look very much different. But if you click it once, you go to low, click it twice, you go to your SOS, click it again, it's off. Now if you click it and hold it down, it goes into high. No, 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 that's wrong. That's low. Now, now I can kind of see it better. I was using it outside where it's darker and I couldn't quite tell. But uh, you hold it down, that's low. And then you click it off and it turns off. And you click it twice real fast, it goes into your strobe. So... Hold it down, it goes in the low. Okay, click it once. Okay, I don't know. Like I said, I, I really personally can't tell a huge difference between the modes, but I've been using it a little bit here and there. The zoom works really well. One thing I really like about it is the button on the side. I, I like a tail cap, a clicky tail cap, but the thing I do like about the button on the side is it's covered by this little nice little um, anodized aluminum red um, guard I guess you could say because I don't know if anybody knows about the company Thorfire but the, they're not ex and a huge company but they do make some really good flashlights and uh, I have their TK15 which is a thousand lumen flashlight and uh, I'll do a, a review about that later but it ha also has a side switch but the thing is is it's very easy to press that side switch and so i i had i have bought four 18650 batteries which is what it runs off of and i constantly had to change them out because it kept turning it on in my pocket no matter how i no matter which way i faced the button so this i really like that but uh the pocket clip's really strong like i said the head's a little bit big but it fits well in the pocket the zoom works amazing i really like it um, I, like, like I said, I just got it today, so I haven't had a bunch of time on it. So this isn't really a review. It kind of is by what I what I have used, but mainly just my first impressions. And I like it. I'm glad I got it. It's cheap too. It's a it's rechargeable. Comes with a battery. I got it for uh, just under eleven dollars. It was like ten dollars and some change, which that kind of threw me off at first because I was thinking for. A 900 lumen flashlight that has it's magnetics, USB rechargeable. It's 18650 battery that comes with the bat that comes with the flashlight. I didn't think 10 bucks was gonna get you something pretty good because 
uh, usually like O Light, you know, they're a high name brand. They do really good. They make really good flashlights, and their flashlights are usually thirty dollars and up. That are USB rechargeable. Some of them go way way up into a hundred dollars. But uh, like the M2R Warrior, it's a ninety nine dollar flashlight. I'd love to have one of those. But anyway, for ten dollars, this is what I got. I I really enjoy it. It's a big step up of what I had. I just had the the Coach G20. It's a little bitty pin light. It's an inspection light. It works really well for being up close and personal. Like I do a lot of working on cars and stuff like that. So having a little inspection light did really good for what it for the purpose it was supposed to serve. But I kind of wanted something a little bit more that could expand further out. Like the Thorfire I have is a great flashlight. I just have trouble with that side switch turning on. But this one has been proven to be really well. I like the pocket clip, it's really nice and strong. The magnets, the, it has a really strong magnet in it. And uh, they, they did say that this, I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, the front of the flashlight was actually designed to be a glass breaker as well. And uh, it's not sharp, doesn't have very sharp edges, but it, it's apparently strong enough to do so if you, if you ever needed to use it for that. But one thing to tell that's really cool, one, one thing to tell that if you need to charge your battery is your side switch. If you turn it on, I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go, it's green. When it starts getting low or starts going to where it's about to die, it'll turn red. And um, then you know you'd be able to charge it. And it did say that after, I believe it said 250 full charges, it would drop down to 60%. Now, I don't know if that's the battery or just the internal um, uh, LEDs itself. But you do get flashlight, battery, charging cable, your set of instructions. And um, I think it's a really good deal for $10. If you're looking for something that is tactical looking, that really wasn't my big thing. But I just wanted something that worked really well. And uh, if you're looking for something that's fairly high in lumens... But not wanting to really pay, you know, forty-five, fifty dollars for something. I mean, you can find something for around twenty, twenty-five bucks. But I was kind of doing the EDC challenge where I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money but get something, something good. This is a really good option. Bib Tim tactical flashlight, nine hundred lumens, and you get just about everything you can want in a flashlight. You get a nice magnet, USB rechargeable. It's got a really high output. It's a thirty-five hundred milliamp hour. Any, any, I mean, you can order them offline, but if you go to stores like Walmart, they carry 18650 batteries, but they're only going to be 2200 milliamp hour. So they're not going to last as long as this one would. On, on high, at the highest output, this will last four hours by what it says. And uh, the Thor Fire, on its high, it would last, I think it said, 45 minutes to an hour. And uh, it is 150 lumens brighter but that's still cutting it down by about 75%. Now, that's, that's quite a bit for only being 150 lumens higher. But if you're, if you're looking for something that'll work really well, not wanting to spend a bunch of money, that gets you everything you can want in a flashlight, this is a very good option. I like carrying it. I'm going to carry it for a while to see how long it'll hold up, if it'll start breaking down on me, because like I said, it was only $10, so... You know, there's a chance it could be really good right out the box and a month later it not do very good. So I will be doing an actual review. This is kind of like a first impressions, but I will be doing a review here soon on this and the Thor Fire and any other flashlights I have. Like I have the Olight i3 TOS, which a lot of reviews are out on that flashlight, so I may not do anything about that. But uh, I will do an about maybe a month or two month review of using this on a daily basis because I, I use my flashlights quite a bit so I'll definitely be able to tell really fast whether this is going to be a good flashlight or if it's just you know you get what you pay for which most things you do so but anyway this is a really nice flashlight I like it if you're looking to find something that you're not want to spend a whole lot of money on but you kind of want to get something that'll work really well I would say this is a good one now I'm going to be coming out with more videos like I said informational videos 
more review videos. I'm going to be buying a couple new guns here soon. Be buying some more EDC stuff, more multi tools, wallets, stuff like that. I'm going to be doing a challenge that another YouTuber did that I actually saw and was kind of interested in. I'm doing a hundred dollar EDC challenge now. If you recognize it, you know who I'm talking about. His name is Tyler, and I really enjoyed what he did with it. He he took a hundred dollars and he bought six things. He bought a wallet, a pen, a knife flashlight, a key organizer, and a watch. And it doesn't sound like you can get all that with the $100, but he got quite a bit of good stuff. So that's kind of what I'm doing, except I already have most of that stuff because I'm already in the EDC game world. So I'm just getting a couple things. Like I'm getting, I got the flashlight. I carry a tourniquet as well. So I'm getting a more upgraded military style tourniquet and I'm getting a better multi-tool. I carry a knife, but I'm gonna carry a, like a Leatherman Skeletal that has a good knife on it. I'm getting the CX with the 154 CM. So I'm not getting very much, but that's what I'm gonna be getting. And, and I'm gonna do reviews over those and uh, first impressions and then reviews after so much time. So go ahead and drop a comment below. If you like this video, please uh, like it, uh, subscribe. Let me know what else you'd like to see. If you can think of anything that I can do to upgrade the quality of the videos, maybe um, how I word things, maybe the lighting, the camera angle, whatever. I'm, I'm fine with any constructive criticism I can get to make myself better. So if you like this first initial impressions, let me know and I'll continue to do these. And like I said, I'll be doing reviews on these after so much time of use. The next, the Thorfire TK15, I'll do an actual review because I've had that for about a year. And um, I'll do an actual review on it. And it's a, it's a really nice flashlight. But anyway, I hope everyone has a great day. I hope everyone has a good night. This is where I'm at. It's nighttime now. So we will see you all later. And we'll, we'll be looking forward to putting more videos out soon. Love you all. Bye.